Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a colony PCR, which is uh, using bacterial colony directly for PCR process. A quite convenient and easy way to do with bacteria. You, know, you don't have to extract DNA or something. So now let's begin. Before start, I suggest writing down all the reagent uh, you will use as well as the PCR protocol. And since I have four samples, I will prepare five times the amount of reagent to compensate for the pipating error. Now starting with gathering ice into ice bucket because we want to keep the process in low temperature. Next, mix all the reagent in a centrifuge tube. I prefer adding water first, and enzyme the last. It will be easier to mix evenly. Next step is to distribute the PCR mixture we have into each PCR tube. In this case, 15 microliters for each tube, and a total of 5 tubes. Sometimes you will run into not enough mixture when you come to the last tube, but don't worry, it will be used as negative control. Now take out the bacteria and touch the colony with sterilized tip to acquire bacteria and put them into the PCR tube. Colony PCR only requires a few hundred bacteria, so usually it is sufficient simply by contacting with the colony. Do not use uh, too much bacteria, it will interfere the PCR process. After all the ingredients has been mixed thoroughly, put the PCR tube into PCR machine and proceed as standard PCR. And that's for today's video, I hope you find it useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!